shares dipped as much as 2% in early trading. As Saudi Arabia is investing in a Tesla rival. It's called Lucid Motors. The Saudi Public Investment Fund is putting in a billion dollars to help Lucid Air get on the road properly. Lucid promises a range of 400 miles, zero to 60 in under three seconds, and autonomous driving that will upgrade itself wirelessly as technology improves. If all that sounds a bit Tesla-like or light, this is why Lucid's chief technology officer designed the Tesla Model S. He's Peter Rawlinson. He served as chief engineer at Lotus and Jaguar. And now, enjoy with for Lucid, tell me, sir, a billion dollars from the Saudis. What are you going to do with it? Indeed, we're delighted today to announce the investment of over a billion dollars from the public investment fund from Saudi Arabia. And we're going to use that for three things. First of all, we're going to uh, continue the development of the Lucid Air. We're going to homologate it, complete the testing, and commission all the tooling to put it into mass production. The second thing we're going to do is construct our state-of-the-art factory in Arizona. And the third thing we're going to do is commence the, the rollout of our global sales and marketing strategy, commencing with the US market, right. which is very important for us. So, that, th that is all crystal clear, but the competition is arguably ahead of you. Certainly Tesla's already on the road. Um, NEO mm -hmm. is on the road. Uh, all the major US manufacturers are well advanced. And we've started, mm -hmm. we've seen announcements from the Germans. So, so uh, you know, I, I, I beg to, 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 to question, but um, uh, as the saying goes, a billion dollars and a, late, and a few days late. Well, I, 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 I would um, agree to differ. Um, I believe that no one has truly yet uh, exploited the full benefits of electrification. When we see how an electric powertrain can be miniaturized and the impact that can have upon a vehicle and the layout, it gives so much space for more comfort and luxury uh, on the interior for the benefit for drivers and passengers alike. No one has actually done that. Lucid will be the first. And if you look at some of the products that are out there, um, I mean, Tesla's a great product. It's well engineered, it's high tech, and it's certainly premium. But I question whether it's true luxury. Lucid will offer the first full luxury EV, and that luxury market is huge worldwide. And there are uh, many, many customers out there waiting for Lucid Air to arrive in 2020. Right, but Neo's a luxury product. I saw some of their prototypes at the New York Stock Exchange last week. Um, you know, one mm -hmm. of them has a, a seat that reclines into it. Look, I'm not suggesting that you, know, you, you won't find a market, but I am saying that you're going to find it very difficult without a traditional, either, without a traditional car making infrastructure that you have to build by from scratch well i think this that a company is as capable as the people it employs we may be a new company but we have a wealth of experience and talent within engineering ranks and we're going to attract the very best world-class talent to manufacture the car in volume and i'm very confident that we'll put a world-class product into production a u.s product and make the best car in the world uh, in arizona thank you it's, well i'm looking forward to 2020 i'm told is the is this is the is the, is, is the date uh, i'm looking forward to you taking me for a spin in it uh, in i look forward to it 2020 uh, i'll let you do the driving right thank you sir as we continue